Hello, Room 5 students. It seems that mystery science is on a hiatus. Hiatus means break, just like the rest of us. So we don't have the results from last week's vote. Instead, I decided to look up a video that I thought you would love. Why do baby animals look so cute? Let's watch it together. Hi, it's Doug. So I saw this video on the internet where they had this stuffed animal and I got one because I want to show you something. You look at this and you go, oh, it's cute. It's adorable, right? But watch. When you squeeze the back of the head, now it doesn't look so cute anymore, does it? This is actually really interesting because it shows us how an animal's different facial expressions really change how we react to something. Now it's cute, now it's not so cute. Someone named Tanya has a question about animals looking cute. Let's give her a call now. Hi, Doug. Hi, Tanya. I have a question for you. Why do baby animals look so cute? Oh, that's a great question. People seem to love baby animals. And I don't mean just puppies. All kinds of baby animals, like people find kittens adorable and baby bunnies even animals like baby ducks. Now, it's not that people don't like the adult versions of these animals, but just that people seem to find baby animals especially cute or adorable. There seems to be a special kind of reaction that we have to seeing a baby animal. Baby animals make us feel warm and fuzzy, like we just want to cuddle and hug them. Have you ever thought about why? Why do so many people find baby animals adorable? There was actually a scientist named Conrad Lorenz who wanted to figure out the answer to this question. In order to do that, he decided to look at all the different kinds of baby animals that people find adorable to see if he could spot a pattern, some things that they all have in common. Now take a close look. Do you see any features these baby animals have in common? Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Okay, so Turn and talk with somebody nearby. What features do these baby animals have in common? What do you notice? Pause the video to have your discussion, then play the video to resume and find out the answer. Okay, are you ready for the answer? Let's see. Okay, you ready? Well, maybe you noticed some of the same things that Conrad Lorenz noticed. He found a pattern. Baby animals often have large eyes compared to their heads. They also have a large head compared to their body. Their bodies are often round and little, and they have short, stubby legs. Now, you might have noticed those short legs before. Like when baby animals try to walk, they're a little bit clumsy. They teeter from side to side. That's something that people find adorable, too. These baby features are what make baby animals look different from grown-up adult animals. For example, here's a dog, a Labrador Retriever, as a puppy and as an adult. Now, if you compare them side by side, you can see that the adult has a larger body with a smaller head in comparison to its body. It also has longer legs. And you might notice that its nose sticks out more. Overall, a puppy looks much more round. Now look at all these baby animals. Notice how you can see this pattern with almost any baby animal. But why do these baby features make us go, aww, and want to cuddle them? It's funny, but we seem to have this reaction without even thinking about it. It's automatic. When we see a baby animal, we want to pick it up and hold it. We want to keep it safe and cuddle it. An automatic reaction like this is called an instinct. An instinct is something you do without even thinking. Like, whenever we eat something that tastes really sour, we all do this. Watch. We pucker our lips. Oof. <laughs> it's an automatic reaction. The scientist Conrad Lorenz thought that that reaction that we have toward animal babies, where we go, aw, cute, and we want to cuddle them, that that might come from an instinct we have toward human babies. Think about it. We pick them up. We hold them, we talk to them, we keep them safe. Human babies have that same pattern of features. Large eyes in comparison to the size of the head, 
a large head on top of a round body with short legs and arms. And look at how we walk when we're babies. Just like baby animals, we're all a bit clumsy. It's adorable. Conrad Lorenz thought that maybe the reason people find baby animals so adorable is because they remind us of baby humans. They share some of the same features that we have when we're babies. And what's more, it's not just babies that look adorable with these features. You could make just about anything look cute if you give it baby-like features. Even something like a cartoon version of a shark. Now that's usually not an animal people think of as being adorable. But if you were to draw one with more baby-like features, check it out. Now it has a rounded body, a big head compared to its body, and big eyes compared to its head. It looks adorable. Artists who draw cartoons often do this with their characters in order to make them seem more adorable to us. You can experiment to make a drawing seem more baby-like or adorable. There's a website from a science museum called the Exploratorium where you can give an object a rounder, more baby-like look. I'll include a link to it at the end of this video. So in summary, baby animals that we find adorable all seem to share features in common. They all have features similar to baby humans. Scientists think that the reason we react with aww and want to cuddle things that look like babies is that it might be an instinct to take care of babies, something that happens automatically. Even things that aren't alive, like cartoons and cars, we can find adorable when they have features that remind us of babies. Mysteries all around us. Stay curious and see you next week. Aww. How hard was it to not say that throughout the video? Aww. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed room five. Today's challenge of the day, send me a question that you have for Doug. I will submit it on your behalf. What are you curious about? What are you wondering about? Send me your questions. And one more thing, here's the link to the website that Doug was talking about during the video through the Exploratorium. Check it out if you have time. Bye room five. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time.